This training video guides you through the steps to successfully conduct a test using Neogen's Veritox for Total Aflatoxin Kit and the StatFax 4700 MicroWell Reader. This presentation serves only as a visual guide to the written materials supplied with the test kit. To ensure accuracy in the performance of this test, please read and follow the test's written instructions in their entirety. Each kit contains materials to run up to 38 tests. To run the test, you will also need the following. An agri-grind or bun grinder, sample collection cups with lids, a scale capable of weighing 5 to 50 grams, sample collection tubes with caps, filter syringes or Wattman number no. 4 filters, tube rack, a timer, rocket shaker, which is recommended for shaking, the StatFax 4700 MicroWell Reader, or MicroWell Reader with 650 nanometer filter, 12 channel pipetter and tips, 100 microliter pipetter and tips, MicroWell holder, wash bottle, reagent boats, 250 milliliter graduated cylinder or dispensing pump, distilled or deionized water, max two aqueous extraction packets. When not in use, the test kits should be stored in the refrigerator set between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze. Prior to use, warm the test kits to room temperature. This typically takes two hours. Commodities tested should have a pH of 6 to 8. Excessively acidic or alkaline samples should be adjusted. For instructions on adjusting the pH, please contact your Neogen representative. Sample Preparation To prepare the sample, begin by gathering all the materials required for the process. The sample to be tested should be collected according to accepted sampling techniques. If necessary, see the GYPSA sampling protocol or contact your Neogen representative. Obtain a representative sample and grind so that at least 75% of the ground material passes through a 20 mesh sieve. The particle size should be about the same as instant coffee. Grind a minimum of 100 grams of your sample. Weigh out 10 grams into the sample cup, plus or minus 0.1 gram. Pour the contents of one Max 2 aqueous extraction packet into the sample cup. Add 50 milliliters of distilled or deionized water into the sample cup. Cap tightly and vigorously shake the cup either by hand or using mechanical means, such as a rocket shaker, for three minutes. Allow the sample to settle for a few minutes. Filter the extract by pouring at least four milliliters through a filter syringe, collecting the filtrate in a sample collection tube. You can also filter using Wattman No. 4 filter paper. Your sample is now ready for testing. Test Procedure each Veritox for total aflatoxin kit contains 48 red-marked mixing wells, 48 clear antibody-coated wells, 4 yellow-labeled bottles of 0, 5, 15, and 50 ppb aflatoxin controls, 1 blue-labeled bottle of aflatoxin HRP conjugate solution, 1 green-labeled bottle of K-blue substrate solution, 1 red-labeled bottle of Red Stop solution, one pink labeled bottle of dilution diluent, and one box of 25 Max 2 aqueous extraction packets. To begin, make sure your kit is at room temperature. Remove one red marked mixing well for each sample to be tested, plus four red marked mixing wells for the controls. Place the microwells into the well holder. Remove an equal number of clear antibody coated wells. Mark one end of the strip with a one and place the strip in a well holder with the marked end on the right. Multiple samples can be tested at one time, but Neogen recommends running no more than 20 samples at a time, or two antibody well strips at a time. Put the controls in order from the lowest to the highest concentration. Using the 100 microliter pipetter and a new tip, prime and pipette 100 microliters of conjugate into each red marked well. Gently swirl each reagent prior to use. Using a new pipette tip, prime and pipette 100 microliters of the zero control into the first red marked well. Using a new tip each time, place 100 microliters of the 5, 15, and 50 ppb controls into the appropriate wells. Then, 
Add 100 microliters of sample filtrate into the appropriate wells. Using a 12-channel pipetter adjusted to 100 microliters, place the appropriate number of pipette tips onto the pipette. Mix conjugate and samples in the red marked wells by pipetting up and down five times. Draw up 100 microliters, making sure no bubbles are present in any of the tips. Transfer 100 microliters of sample into the clear antibody wells. Start a timer set for five minutes. During the first 30 seconds of room temperature incubation, mix the wells by sliding the microwell holder back and forth on a flat surface without splashing the reagents from the wells. Discard the red marked mixing wells. At the end of the five minute incubation, shake out the contents of the microwells. Fill the wells with distilled or deionized water and shake out. Repeat this step five times, then turn the wells upside down and tap them out on a paper towel until the remaining water is gone. Check for excess water or bubbles. If present, tap again to disperse. Do not put anything in the well or blow air into the wells. Pour the needed volume of substrate from the green labeled bottle into a clean reagent boat. Using new tips on the 12 channel pipetter, prime and pipette 100 microliters of substrate into the clear microwells. Start a timer set for five minutes. During the first 30 seconds of room temperature incubation, mix the wells by sliding the microwell holder back and forth on a flat surface without splashing reagents from the wells. Discard the remaining substrate. Do not pour back into the substrate bottle. The liquid in the wells should change from clear to shades of blue. Pour the needed volume of red stop from the red labeled bottle into a clean reagent boat. At the end of five minute incubation, add 100 microliters of red stop to the clear wells. This stops the reaction and ends the test. Mix by gently sliding the well holder back and forth. Ensure the liquid is homogeneous and there is no layering. You have up to 20 minutes to read the wells using the StatFax 4700 microwell reader or an equivalent microwell reader with a 650 nanometer filter. Wipe the bottom of the microwells and place them into the reader with the zero control entering the reader first. Select Run Test. Select Total Aflatoxin. Select the number of wells you want to be read, then push Enter. Select Accept. Select Start. The reader will print out the receipt with quantitative values for controls and sample. The middle column is the absorbance of each well. The right-hand column shows the exact parts per billion of the controls and sample. Below the columns, you will see the R value. The R value represents the correlation coefficient. If this value is less than 0.98, the test is invalid and must be run again. This value ensures the test was performed correctly. Manuals are also available. We have kit inserts and step-by-step -step pictured procedure brochures for all Veritox kits. Please contact Neogen for information on our full line of Veritox test kits.